a brand new page, page three of our double folio. So have fun. Alrighty, so um, <clears throat> let's get started. Now, first thing before I'm starting, I have already made these two, you know, and I was just thinking these two are pretty big in the single folio. So I need to make sure that this folio is not that chunky as the single folio. So I need to lower down the pages. Do my best. Okay. <laughs> let's grab a page. Um, let's grab a page. Uh, make sure that your 818 is this direction. And your 8 is this direction. It's the minor, I know. But we just have to cut that. Okay, let's get started for a new page. Let's cut this shorter. And let's make a fold line. And again, we are going to be safe. So I'm gonna yeah, I'm just going to do a one and a half so I know later how much I need for the gossip. Okay. So that is my first. Oh, I need to see where the middle is. That's here. Okay. And this one, maybe I'm going to make it a little lower. Yeah, wait just a sec. Okay, that is half. But I want to make it one inch lower even. So I have a three inch left at the bottom. Yeah, that, that will do. Okay, so... <laughs> Let's just cut this, this size. There we go, cut this shorter. Okay. And I will actually need one that goes right here. We can do that later. We can, we can, but we also can do it right now. So let's cut this same way. Same size as your bottom page. And for the below one, we're also going to do, do plenty. One and a half. Okay. And then I'm going to cut this till this piece. So this is a three inch. Okay, cut it down. Okay, this is what I have left. So, this is going to be here, not now, and this is going to be here. Okay, cool. Put this away for a moment. And this also. This right here. Let's first work on this one. Okay, let's make a closure first. Well, a kind of a belly band I like to make right here. And of course, this does not fit. This is all too small. So I need a new one. Or if you have leftover pieces, then that's perfectly fine. How uh, wide? I think a one inch will do. Yeah, one inch will do. A one inch. Uh, let's make half inch score line. And yeah, that will do. I'm not gonna make this thicker. Do I need to make this thicker? Nah. Nah, it's not needed. Okay, just fold it. If you want to make a 1-8, then it's not tight enough, so no. 
Okay, make sure that this fits on your page. Make another fold line. So it's only actually a belly band, so that's not that difficult. Gilp and belly band. There it goes. Nice. This goes on here, but, 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 I want to make it a little bit more nice. This is boring. So, I want to do something with this. Um, okay. But I actually maybe should have done this a little wider mm. let's check 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 i want to make it wider then this is also going to be smaller now i'm okay i'm okay okay <laughs> guys let's make a yeah awkward half inch i think it's too deep that i don't want so what if we make a 3-8, that'll do, a 3-8, for the centimeter people that's one centimeter, a 3-8, let's do that, okay, let's do that here too, and if you have an envelope punch then that's perfect to use. If you don't have it, then you can do the same thing as I do. Okay, then we are going to make half inch mark and a one inch below. Same thing here. A one inch and a half inch mark and then we can just bomb these two there you go so you just can cut this out and then you will have a nice incision cool now if I have design paper I would do that right away so you have a nice cut um, no, I don't have any leftover piece I don't because I'm just getting started on my double folio so what should we just go for safe and just use um, this one or we we'll use the pink one, that's also nice. I want to keep it as quiet as possible. <laughs> this one I like. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this paper. Yep, I did flip this around so maybe it's not necessary but maybe I want to keep that you never know with me okay cut this as if it's we really gonna cut this normally with the black edges Place this at the back as ever we normally would cut that but then we just gonna move this all the way equal all the way up okay place something on so it will stay there so I have my black edges on the side see the black edges are on the sides Make sure that your paper is nice. Yep. 
yep but this one is equal see here i don't have a black edge this needs to be equal okay and now i'm just going to cut this out Follow the line. There we go. You always can keep everything. Let's take this out. Switch the edges. And it should fit perfectly, but look at that notch that we made without without any envelope punch. And I do have my envelope punch, but I just want to show you for those who do not have any. Look at that. It fits marvelous. Yep, it does nicely. Perfect. Okay, um, can we add this already? Yep, I think we can. So it does not get lost. So put it on. on I don't want to see any tape coming under that I don't like. Peel off one side. Grab your piece. Make sure that your hinge is at the top. So you can wiggle with the one where not is taking off the back of the tape. There we go. Burnish it down. Peel off the other side. And there you go. There you go. Your little belly bent. Okay. Next. Next, we are going to take our leftover page and we are just going to put this here um, this is not fitting guys this is not fitting so I need a new one it should be longer so we're just gonna place this well against it or just a slightly off make a mark and let's cut this And then we're gonna make a flippity flop. And we are going to make this a 1 8 extra. So we have a little space. we 
we go. Okay, so this, and you need to measure from the complete fold line, not with the 1 8. Place this on your left or on your right, whatever you want. And we're just gonna make that one millimeter smaller. And cut it down. Grab some tape, put it on. That's one piece. Let's go for the other one. Need to have another one, another page. Don't ever throw your left. Oh, this is uh, <laughs> the one that I need to save. <laughs> Don't ever throw any page away. So you definitely be sure that you will not need it any longer. All right, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Score again. And a one eight. See, this one we are going to make this a little shorter, a 1 8 shorter. There we go. Make the 1 8 ready. Put this on the white spot, nice and equal. Yes. Okay, so we have a nice place for more photos if you want. Nice. Um, I want to do on the inside. <laughs> uh, yes. Definitely on this inside. Not on the outside, but on the inside. I want to make some pockets. Yeah, 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 yes. Grab your leftover pieces. Check, of course, this not. But you just cut it off. Check your leftover pieces. Anything that will fit. This fit nicely. Can we do it too? We might, I don't know. We might. Let's just give it a go. Bottom hinge, side wings, not side wings, side hinge. Yep. Let's just make a mark. Another one on the other side. Same one as this one, so I just can use this for my mark.
Yes. All right, guys. Play some tape on. Yesterday, I had a laugh. Yesterday, I really had a good laugh. Oh, it was so, so funny. My hubby has a cheap drone. It's like a thing that flies in the air, which you have a control with it. Well, he has that quite some time, but he's not handy with it. He is definitely not handy with it. I, he played it with in, inside the house and outside the house, but he is still not in control with that thing. So that it, that the drone is still alive, I am thankful for that. But <laughs> but yesterday it was time to give my plants some water, and then he got bored and he thought, oh, I can practicing my drone again. So let let's do that. So. He placed it on the grass and it took off and he told me, oh look, how high it can be. <laughs> so it gets higher and higher and um, for some reason it goes to the neighbors, that, that big company, that big wood company, that, that that's that's um, beside my house, so nobody lives there uh, during the evenings. <laughs> and it goes higher and higher, and, and he said, oh, 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 I think I don't have any control of it, it's too far away, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, and I saw it um, goes, <laughs> I saw it, it, it goes down and down and down and further away and further away and I, I watched it go down like, oh, about it hits a car, but then I saw it, it goes to the, to the big fields, the, 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 what do you, how you call that, grass, big grass fields. <laughs> um, <laughs> wait just a sec, give me a pause. Um, I do like to have uh, this again with this one, don't you think that would be cool? Making a notch. We did not do that with the other two pages, but maybe it's a good idea to do that with this one. So what do you think? To do this again with this? Can be. Can be done. The only thing that I don't like is that you then need your um, need your papers already to use. Well we can use can we use two? Yep, you can use two, but yeah, that's okay. So how deep do we want it? Let's cut a one inch, that will do. Um, <laughs> so it goes and goes and goes further. <laughs> Let me put this away for just a second. It, it's hilarious, it, it's absolutely hilarious. I'm just gonna use this, this one for a second, it's more handy for now. Um, so it goes away. It, I saw it fly away. <laughs> and he went to our back door. There you have a battle site. And for some reason he told me, oh, oh, I got it again. I got it again. Oh, wow. Wow. So glad I have it back again. I have it under control. Yes, yes, yes. And for one or two minutes, and I really thought that is strange because I really thought it was already gone. Then, after two minutes, well, one to two minutes, yeah, it took quite a long time. <laughs> he told me, um, Honey, I think I am controlling a bird. <laughs> <laughs> he was thinking that he had control about the drone. But, and of course he had no control uh, about the bird, of course, but he was thinking he was controlling his drone, but he, was saw, <laughs> he saw a bird flying. <laughs> <laughs> and that it took that long before he even noticed that that was hilarious. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, I definitely had a great laugh. 
and not only that the drone uh, landed um, in that grass field that that's perfectly fine um, he, he picked it up and, and it was completely destroyed <laughs> once he got it but um, the fact that he was thinking that he had control about the drone and it was actually a bird <laughs> that was the most funny thing for me at least you needed to be get there you you you, you needed to be there it was so funny it was funny <laughs> But the drone now is um, in the Clico, in the garbage can. Thank God, because he definitely never ever would learn that thing to having under control. He is not that. Well, he is a very good handyman. He's definitely, definitely handy, but with a controller? Mm. Nah. Back in the days when we just lived together. <laughs> Um, we had a PlayStation, the PlayStation 1, and we had uh, Tomb Raider, the game. Oh, love that game. Absolutely one oh, amazing game. And But he could not deal with it. He could not make her run or jump or whatever. Nope. She would, he would definitely not. So he and his hobby, no, me and his hobby, we, we played several Tomb Raiders and uh, he just watched. Oh, you, you play. I will watch. I watch. I shall watch. Well, most of the time with, eye, with his eyes closed. But <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he could not do it then either. E either with, uh, with, uh, with the controller. So, so I think he is not that capable of dealing with a controller I think but I will not say that of course to him maybe as he is gonna get him a new one you never know <laughs> a new drone I don't know or maybe he just give up after this heroic adventure <laughs> Oh, I really thought it was funny. Mm -hmm. Here we go, making the pockets ready. And as you can see, yes, it is more work, of course, but it's so much. Oh, better. Better is not a big word that I want to use, but I do like it to make these notches. You also have, if you have a wound circle punch, then you also can make very nice notches in your pockets. But then you also still need to, um, oh, I throw that other one away. What a waste. I have it back. I have it back. But then you also need to um, use your design paper. At least that's my experience. That is better to use it before gluing your pocket on it. Gluing, gluing, gluing. That's also not a nice word. go yes look at that Fun. I like it. Okay. Let's see where we can add this. Nope. Oh, upside down. So left and right. 
Um, I think the best way to do this at the end. Let's see, so I have one here. And if I put this on this end, then I have one here. That I don't like. That I don't like. So I'm definitely going to make one here. That's the first thing that I'm going to add. Using the tape again. in now see the difference with this page so the pocket is right here and we do have that 1 8 so that fits marvelous but if I put the other pocket on here then this perfect solid space is ruined with this so that I don't like. So I think I am just going to put this here or something. Why not? No, not here, on this side then. So we have here have the blade the plain spot, but there will be a tack. And then this here, and then this closes it all down. Just watch. I have my pocket here. And then this is the one that I'm going to add at the bottom. And then here is the other one. And then the tags can also be till here. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Yeah, why not? Okay. Stay away two millimeters at least, or one eight. That's also perfect. Stay away from the fold lines. Always. This makes so much more sense. Yeah, and I even like it that you have two pockets on this side and none at this one. Cool, and then this is our belly band wedge, which we are gonna use as the closure. Okay, so for that, and we always can, not necessarily, we always can make pockets on here, but that will be not necessary. This definitely need, don't need to be too thick. This is thick enough. All right, stay away of the thickness. <laughs> okay, so that is done for now. Let's go. Oh, wait just a sec. Ah, okay, so I got a phone call. All right, so we just gonna flip this up. Remember, we do not have any cosset white now, but we'll do. So we flip this up. So for just to a little bit in our story so this is going to be the top page and we're going to flip this up so i want yeah i actually also want this a little lower so it flips even better that means that it get lower also so we do not just one time no we're not you're not gonna go to do this lower. Hmm. Ugh. 
maybe a little bit. Why? Why do we need to get lower? Yeah, then it gets a little bit easier to flip open, but if it lays here flat or on the table flat, because it's folio. So, no, we're just going to keep this up. Alright, let's put this away. <laughs> yeah, let's do some flippity flops. And maybe we are just going to use first what we have. So I'm going to stay away two millimeters at least from the bottom fold line. And what size is it then? Let me check, 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 check. What size can we do? Oh, it's a nice 478. Let's do a 478. That's nice. 478. And can I do another one? 478. 8 I was wondering where my glasses were. <laughs> okay, let's make a flippity flop. Let's make a flippity flop. There we go. I think we need two more. Oh, I do have a leftover piece right here. Again. Four, seven, eight. Oh. Four, seven, eight. Make a flippity flop. And I think I can make another one on this side, but I'm not sure just yet. But let's see, let's see, let's see what is what's what what we're gonna do. Okay, this is can be the short one. this in two and then at the end I'm going to tell you what size we are going to do but let me first see what this can be all right Okay, so we have four pages on here. I do not want to make a waterfall, but I do like to have something fun. So these are nicely flippable. Wait just a sec. Let's give this a mark in the middle. What's wisdom? What is wisdom? We can do a... Well, if I put this on... And then... The next one in the middle... Well... Here... That is actually what I want... So what I'm going to do, I am going to cut this where my mark is. Okay. Let's put that on first. Yeah, 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 yeah. Place this nicely on the end at the top. So we have the space down here. And if I grab the short one, I'm going to place this against this one. And then I also like to have this against here. It means that I have two flippable pages, but you don't see it on the outside. So I'm going to make my mark. 
see what I'm doing. I'm gonna place this with my hinge against this hinge right here. Yeah, and then I'm just going to, well I also can put this like this. And then if I flip this back, you also can make a full drawing. I need to cut this down. Okay. I'm gonna cut this at my mark. So I stay under that page. So it is actually a little belly band, um, waterfall, but well, it's just two pages which you don't see on the outside. That's a little bit the idea. Now we can add our next one on the left side. First, we need to cut it down. So I'm going to place this on the left. I'm going to make a mark just beside the other one, so it's not touching each other, just touching each other, but I don't like them to touch each other. So, place this, and I'm just going to keep this as my guideline. go away just a little bit that I'm satisfied. So this does not touch each other. Okay, let's go for the next one. Because we still want to have some activities of course in this double folio. this down against your first place it down and make a mark there we go Yes, 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 yes. There we go. So we have two pages, but on the outside it just looks like one. One. Okay, and of course, at the bottom, we are going to make, I can't hear you, yes, a belly band. And just look first for a leftover piece. Always look for a leftover piece. Score the bottom, score the sides. Fold it down. Stay at least away from the fold lines. Both sides. Score and cut. There we go, there we go, there we go. 
this uh, down and of course we're going to stay in where these pages are so we have here completely we stayed away from the fold line Window, not a window. Yep, I like it. Oh, nope, I did not. Oh, I was almost thinking <laughs> that I placed the pocket upside down, but it's not because if you open this up like this, then you have your pocket right here. So I did not, I did good. Okay, and then at the end, I like to have swing tap. Not a swing tap, a Envelope closure. Yes, I like it. Okay. All right, so far with this one. So that is nice. So we have some activity right here. Yep, and we have some activity here. Yeah, cool. Like it. All right, put this away. Because now we go to the bottom of this one. So this is what we have right now, so far. Okay, so this one we put away for just a second. Put that away. And let's deal with this one. Okay guys, we're continuing with this one. And we are going to start to make a pocket out of that one. So yeah, we just can use this one. Let's do it. Make a flippity flop for the bottom. Make a side. Then we are gonna measure on top. And we're gonna do that again. Now let's see how deep we want this. We are going to do, look at your hinge. So we are going to make this the same size. make a notch as well. Let's check, check, check. Is this the same size? Yep, it is. Okay, so we're gonna make a notch. Let me first add this on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's go with this. Fold, fold, fold. Okay, testing, testing. One, two, one, two. Nice. If there is anything that's off, then now it's a time. I do see that mine is a little off. why it's always better to check 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 yep now it fits perfect 
All right, so. Checking. 2, 15, 16. 2, 15, 16. Yep. Nice. Okay. Let's make a notch. Shall we do that with, um, with the same paper? Check. So this is here. This is here. If you're gonna make exactly the same one, hmm. not bad, not bad. So it's one becomes at one. So let's do that. I think also a one inch. Let's just do that. A one inch. Do we need oh, oh, no, 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 no. do we need to take a minute to see if the pattern is equal? That would be awesome if I could do that. And I can, so why not? Let's just make it what kind of noise is there outside? Someone is smashing big doors, maybe a big truck or something. Why am I smudging already? I don't know. <laughs> Just checking. Yeah, this double one needs to be in the white. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so I'm gonna draw everything. Half inch. Half inch. If you have your and I do have an envelope punch, yes I do, I do, I do, I do. But for those who do not have, I am just joining you with not having oh half inch, Diane, stay the same, half inch, one inch, half inch, one inch. I'm just joining you to do this with our hands and marks and our next project I will use my envelope punch again at least I think okay you know the drills and I'll be back in a second okay and then it looks like this I did not glue anything down well I did glue the pocket down but this looks for the bottom did not enhance not a notch just yet, but it looks like this. Alright, so this is going to be our first look. Alright, what else can we do here? I want to do something on here as well. Put this away. Let's make a mark in the middle. Can I do it with this one? Nope, it's too short. I'm just gonna use a full a full one. Half inch, that is my first move. Okay, and I'll place this at the bottom and make it not higher than your design paper is. it straight. Well, it's the fold of the fold line. Wait just a sec. I also can do it this way. There we go. There 
There we go. Okay. Let's make some fold lines. I think you all know what I'm going to make. <laughs> Okay, to the left, to the left, make a mark. And I'm first going to add this one on. And like always, um, just know when you want to make a notch. If you want to make a notch, then this is a good time to to think about it. If you want to make a notch, oh, this is definitely need a little bit more cutting. I don't want to have any bulk. That's better. This one also can have some more. Yep. Okay, so if you want some, then this is the time. And I think I. Hmm. Well, if I do, then I do also need a back count. I, I do. Why? Why do I like that? Because this is the front page and I want to have it nice. So, then again, we do need some pages. But now I'm going to use this piece, very solid one. And I am going to use a full piece. Not going to glue it on just yet, but I am going to. I also can know I'm not gonna do that image. That will not fit. Okay, let me first do this one. So this fits with the black edge nicely. Put this on the back. Here we go, and now you can do anything you like. For this time, I'm going to make the round one. So if you have a round circle punch, then this is the time to use it. <laughs> you can make a large one, a small one, whatever you have. Whatever you have in your stash. I do have several ones, but just looking which one would fit nicely. Not too deep. I think this is a nice one. What do you think? Nice? You can make a larger one. I also have a very, very big one. <laughs> for example, this is too big, I know. But for example, you can. You just can use it. Why not? It can be done. I do have a big one. My mom found it on the flea market. <laughs> I do not do use it that much. This is, is this the same one? Oh, this one is bigger. This one is bigger, I guess. Where is this coming from? I like this size. It's a little bit bigger. There we go. And 
and then just smooch the edges. I'm not going to glue it down just yet because I think I might want to use a ribbon or something. But look at that. It fits marvelous on here. But I will. And then it looks like this. That is nice. Okay, so put this away for just a second. First, put this pocket in. In its place. So I want to put this in the spot where it's needed so I don't get lost. Okay, now place your hinge against the other one and make a mark where your next fold line is going to be. And then we're going to use the other paper. Uh, oh, almost, almost, almost. <laughs> Almost I only cut. Okay, so let's do exactly the same with this one. Okay, and it looks like this if we put this on. But we aren't. So I'm going to put this away. Oh, I also can put this right here in front of me. And let's see. What else can we do with this page? Love this one. Let's see what we can do on the back. It is small, I know, but we always can come back, of course. So we'll leave it for now for just a second. Okay, so far, so cool. Here it is. So far. Okay. Next. What's next?